Okay, we're not going through all these tedious definitions, but I want to make one point clear. We've got complementary angles. You know that two angles add to 90 are complementary. In this example on the right, I've got this red ray splitting this right angle. I see that's a right angle with my protractor, and I've got the angle mark on it. And yes, the two angles that are generated are complementary. However, it is also true that these two angles could be complementary, and they are non-adjacent. So the magenta and the green angle could also be non or could also be complementary if I had information that told me that, for example, their measures. So I can say the green is the complement of magenta, magenta is the complement of green, or magenta and green are complementary angles. And as you remember from before, previous classes, supplementary angles are two angles whose measures add to 180 degrees. Something new now, um, we could not assume right angles for these complementary angles, but remember we can assume collinearity. So in this diagram down here, angles 1 and 2, I know these two angles are supplementary because I know that these two are opposite rays. Another way of saying that, a line, because I can assume collinearity. Same thing with this diagram, with the two colored angles. But in this one, see, I'm going to split this one like this. Just as a reminder, these two angles, A and B, are also supplementary, even though we don't have, or they don't share a ray, they are non-adjacent supplementary angles. Over here, they are adjacent. Adjacent, they share this ray, and they have one pair of opposite rays. These that is, angles 1 and 2 have a special name. Those are a linear pair. So linear pairs always are adjacent, sharing a ray. Um, they are also supplementary angles. However, supplementary angles do not have to be linear pairs. And one last thing on definitions. Uh, so we've just discussed the linear pairs. And if I were to combine this diagram with vertical angles, Let's say we have two crossing lines. Obviously, I've generate four angles. So in this picture, I've got angles one through four. And I can consider I've got a pair of, I've got a linear pair there. I've got a linear pair there. I've got a linear pair here. And my fourth linear pair, angles one and four. And of course, the vertical angles would be one and three, two and four. So looking at this diagram this way, I could say one red and one blue, that's going to be a linear pair. A pair of red or a pair of blue, that's a vertical angle. That diagram is going to come in handy, so keep it in mind. Now we're going to identify angle pairs in this diagram. That would be exercises 20 through 27. Let's start with angles 1 and 4, identified right there. And we can see there a pair of crossing lines, um, angles that meet at a vertex, vertical angles. Okay, let's move on. One and two. One and two, they're adjacent angles. And we see they form a line there. We said that in class. Or their non-adjacent sides are opposite rays, the technical definition. That would be a linear pair. Now, it's, it's interesting to note here that we have another linear pair. Oh, oh, that's not it. Well, we have another linear pair somewhere. Let's move on to, uh, to the next one, angles 3 and 5. 3 and 5, they, they're not adjacent. I don't have any measures. I'm going to say no relationship. All right, done. Let's look at 2 and 3. Mm -hmm. Well, 2 and 3 look like the other pair of vertical angles. Remember, whenever we cross a pair of lines, we're going to have two pair of vertical angles, one and four, two and three. Now, my favorite joke, why was six scared of seven? Seven, eight, nine, right there. Those three angles do add up to 180 degrees, but they are not a pair. So we're going to say, well, I hate to say no relationship, but there's no angle pairs there because there are three angles. So, let's say, move ahead. Next one, angles five and six. Well, that's a classic example of a, another linear pair. Six and seven. Six and seven over here. Now, 
if I had some measures, it's possible they could be, um, if 4 were a right angle, we're going to learn that later, we could determine that they were complementary, but we have no information there. So we're going to say no relationship. And finally, the last one, angles 5 and 9. These two angles look like, well, they look to me like they are supplementary. They could be. And um, we'll learn later on if these two lines were parallel. If we knew they were parallel, they'd be supplementary. But we don't know that for certain. So all we can say is no relationship on 5 and 9. And that's it for the series.